my dad is on a cooking bender and he started making cookies and his most latest are snickerdoodles. Look at this. This is like my third one today. I'm gonna be sick. Hey guys, it's Wendy Valencia. Welcome back. And if you are new to my channel, make sure you click that big old red subscribe button down below and then go click that bell notification icon so you will be alerted every time I upload. Because apparently it's all about cookies in this house. Okay, maybe that's just my problem. Today I wanted to talk about the three things that I need to do my budget every month. And now I will tell you recently, the happy budgeter and I got in a brief youtube -y sort of back and forth, um, I commented on one of her videos about the, I don't even remember what I wrote, but it was something about calendar budgeting. And she was surprised to know that I actually use a calendar to budget. So let me talk about the three things that I use to do my budget every month, because I have legit three things that I have to have in order to get my budget done and not miss anything. The very first thing is new and I will tell you that I love it. I mean, love it like deep down in my soul, love it. Like how did I ever budget without this thing? Basically I created a spreadsheet of things that only come up maybe once a year, twice a year, things that I am likely to forget. I had noticed that my every dollar was just getting longer and longer and longer. And it was full of things that I only did once a year. And it was starting to get on my nerves. I am a very type A organized person by nature. And so what was happening is I was having all of these empty spaces like Amazon Prime. Yeah, I have to pay an annual fee for that. No, I don't wanna forget it. But I also don't wanna have that space in there to remind me to include it every December when I have Amazon Prime due. So what I decided to do between November and December, I started creating lists of things that I knew would be coming up in the year birthdays, annual fees, when I need to get the tires rotated, when I need to get the oil changed, that all of those things over and over and over. I put on the calendar getting new coats for Christmas if, if those are needed. And not every single one of these things are gonna happen during the year, but they are things that I might need money for so I can evaluate them. Holidays are on there. Um, Valentine's Day, Christmas, all of the things surrounding Christmas, going to Meadowlark Park, going to uh, Christmas presents for Melina's piano teacher, for her uh, Spanish teacher at school, for you know all of those things that I forget. As I am learning new things, I'm adding them in. But like, for example, birthdays for kids that I know Melina is gonna hang out with for the next 10 years if we're in this neighborhood and they're in this neighborhood, her little friends, I put their birthday month in there. In addition to that, I have the things that we do every single month or the things I need to look at every single month. My easy pass for the car, Melina's after school care, insurance, tax, pay the tax guy, you know, all of those things that routinely will come up. Melina's school pictures, that's in there too. So then the way I set it up, I have everything in a running list. So then on top of that, I list the, the months of the year, January, February, and so on. And then kind of like a crosshatch spreadsheet sort of thing, I put a little check an X in the month that it applies to. And then when it is that month's time, I copy the whole spreadsheet into another page, sort, because I don't wanna mess with my original spreadsheet. I sort by the month. I delete out all of the columns that don't apply to the month I'm looking at. And then I delete all the rows that have nothing to do with that month and then I go make my every dollar. And it really works out well. So that brings me to thing number two that I need. I need every dollar because that is where we do our budget. Every month we do our budget in every dollar. And I use every dollar because it is easy for Mauricio to understand. Mauricio is not an Excel person. 
when I used to budget in Excel years ago, his eyes would glaze over and roll back in his head. And it, there was just no budgeting with Mauricio when it involves spreadsheets. He likes every dollar. So as long as he's happy with it, that's where I'm going to stay. The third thing that I need is my calendar. Now I've showed you guys my calendar. It's your typical boring agenda. I get a Franklin Covey calendar every year. And if you want to check out my calendar, you're more than welcome to. I'll put a link to it down below. Um, it's nothing exciting, but it is exactly what works for me. I have the same cover I've had for the last 15 years. It's leather. It's unexciting. It works. I will never be a pretty planner kind of girl because my planner is functional. My planner keeps me on track. I've tried to switch over to a electronic planner and it just doesn't work because I am constantly throwing sheets of paper and notes and and receipts and all sorts of things into my planner that for specific days like someone's doctor's appointment I throw it into the next month into the page it needs to be on so I won't forget it. So why do I need my planner? Because maybe there's an event that's coming up for like Melina's piano recital. And Melina had an attire requirement for her piano recital. The dress, it was required that the dress be a certain length. By having that calendar with that flyer in there that had the dress requirements for Melina's piano recital, I was able to say, hey, I need to make sure that I have, Melina has a dress that she can wear. Those kind of things help me remember things that are coming up. Meadowlark Park, it was in the budget for December and I knew that we were gonna have to buy the tickets online. So I put in a line item for Meadowlark Park into the budget. So these are the things that if I forget or they haven't made it to the permanent list, I see them in my calendar. Now, nine times out of 10, if, no, 10 times out of 10, if it's something that's gonna repeat every year, like Melina's school pictures, I know she's gonna have school pictures every year. So I go ahead and I put them in the big list. But that calendar helps me remember the little things that I might have forgotten so that when it comes time to have our budget done, we're good. So if you are new to my channel, make sure you click on my big laughing face to subscribe and I will put up two videos so you can keep on watching. This video is my latest one and this one is one YouTube picked out just for you. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya.